hello everyone welcome to my video in this video we're going to be talking about kubernetes services especially i will be highlighting the difference between these things actually port target port and node port and don't worry if you don't understand what they are i'll show you a demo which will make it very clear so i want you to imagine a scenario basically in this scenario let's say you are a software engineer working for a huge company a big company which implements these devops technologies like docker kubernetes jenkins ci cd pipelines etc etc so basically the devops ecosystem and you're working for a team which is developing a web application or a certain rest api right they're, they're done with coding and you created a build process which basically creates a docker image right that's the output of this build process now your task is to deploy this docker image in a kubernetes cluster right so i hope you are with me so far very simple you need to deploy a docker image in a kubernetes cluster so let's actually start with this diagram so we are going to create a deployment in kubernetes basically a deployment is a kind of resource in kubernetes and let's see how you know how that looks actually right so let me grab this yaml file in fact i've copied this yaml file to my kubernetes cluster so i'm logged into my master node in kubernetes cluster okay so and it's it looks like this so this is the deployment AP, API, so you don't have to worry much about it, at least as far as this video is concerned. And this is what we are creating is a deployment. And we've got some labels and the name of the deployment. And then this is the spec of the deployment itself. So it, this deployment has only one replica and it's got a selector section for identifying the the pods which are related to this deployment okay and this is the template of the pod that will be created and specifically this is the spec of the pod what that means is the pod that is related to these deployments is basically using this image and this is the docker image that I was talking about. Let's pretend that this is your docker image and it uses a specific version. Okay. So in short, we are going to deploy your application and the application is going to be running inside a pod and the pod is basically based on this image. I hope that was clear. Okay. So let me create this deployment. It's pretty straightforward and let's make sure the deployment got created. Okay, so we have created this deployment and let's see what pods are running inside. kubectl get pods. So we have this pod running inside and let's find the IP of this pod and this is it. So I'm going to use the curl command and hit this IP, right? So what we are getting back is the, the default web page from the Nginx uh, deployment inside the pod, right? So this is, you can see, it says, welcome to Nginx. If you see this page, the Nginx web server is running or successfully installed, right? Blah, blah, blah. So where we have successfully deployed your application, right? So now let's say like we give this IP out to some client or another pod actually. If I go back to this diagram over here, you know, this is what we've done. A deployment which has pods and, you know, IP of the pod looks like this and the target port is basically where the application is running and 
if you're not sure about that so let me do a curl IP of the pod and then if I do provide the port also the port the default port of nginx is 80 right we're still getting the same web page back so that that is the target port and please remember that okay so now we're going to create before creating the service the reason why we are creating the service is this so let's say we give this IP to a pod or some some other application right so they are going to reach our web server through this IP actually this particular IP right here now let's say like we want to do another deployment and this time we are going to deploy a different version of the application so I'm going to come here and then I'm going to say okay deploy the latest version of my docker image my application come out after saving that yaml file and let's apply this one so basically we have applied this new deployment changes okay now if I go back to my curl command and if I run it it will not run you see this is hanging actually and that's because if I look at the IP of the pod it looks like this right it has changed from what it was before right so and that's because the when we do a new deployment your pods will be recreated and every time there will be new IPs for those new pods actually so you cannot actually give the pod IPs to your you know your peers the other services which want to reach your application right like to this guy you cannot give the pod IP so what can we do actually we have to create a service so how can we create a service so that we can do by using kubectl expose service and uh, actually we want to expose a pod or more specifically a deployment and the name of the deployment is nginx tep and the target port is basically the port on which your application is running in the pod in the pod over here that is 80 and the port on which this application will run is 80 and that's it actually so when we create a service like this and let's actually look at the service that service is going to be uh, of type cluster IP and it's called a cluster IP which is a stable IP and it will not change no matter how many deployments you do first of all let's make sure actually this IP or this IP is usable to reach our web server behind the scenes right so I'm going to be using the port 80 as well and that works right we are able to reach this nginx web page through the service IP or the cluster IP now let's go ahead and do another deployment and come out here instead of latest I want to do let's say 1.21 some other version okay now all I'm going to do is basically apply this new deployment yaml file this modified yaml file and we have done a new deployment and what happens to our service it does nothing actually it does not change because you see this IP 181 240 is the same as this IP so this IP is stable so if you provide this IP to another service which is running in the same cluster they will be able to reach reach our application no problem and no matter how many deployments you do this IP doesn't change okay so I hope that was clear okay now what is node port so we have seen what is port the port is the port on which our service runs and the target port which is the port on which our ap application runs inside the pod and what is node port 
So for that, I'm going to actually like delete this service that we just created and I'm going to go back to this expose command to create a new type of service. And this time I want to create a node port type service. We, let's come back to this diagram. So this one we already see, right? We deployed, we created a service, we gave the IP to another pod which is running in the same cluster. They're able to reach the pod or the deployment or the application through this service IP, the stable IP. Now here we are. So we're going to create another service, but this time we're going to reach the application, the web server from outside, you know, from outside as in from outside the cluster externally, right? And let's say I'm creating a YAML file out of this. Let me go into the YAML file. So we are, we need to provide like a node port, which is the port through which we will be able to access this application, right? So let's actually provide another value here called node port. And it has to be about 30,000. There is a range, a certain range that you should use. I think it's 30,000 through 32,000 or something like that. I'll provide that in the description, but, and then we have a target port as well target port and that is 80 let's come back here all right so let's look at the service so this is a node port type service and it's got an IP and the inside the cluster it's going to use the service is going to use this 80 port and it's going to use this 30,000 port as well now, what is this 30,000 port? So let's go ahead and go to my uh, AWS console. I'll grab one of the three IPs, right? These are my, this is my master node and we have two worker nodes. I'm going to grab the IP of one of these worker nodes. It doesn't matter. We can pick any one of the three and I'm going to just open another tab and put the IP there and colon 30,000, then we should be able to reach the application which is running inside the cluster. You've seen what a cluster IP is and you've seen what a node port is actually, right? So let's go back to the diagram over here. Now we can basically reach your application through this path. We go through the node, node port, and then through the service, into the application that is running in this deployment. Okay, and we can also go through another node, basically any node in the cluster. Okay, all right. So I think I did my best to explain that. And if you want to look at my YAML files, I'll provide links to that. Don't worry about it. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and keep supporting my channel. I'll come back with more and more valuable videos like this. And thank you.